America is a democratic country, which does not differentiate between genders. Men or women can be leaders in a country that is a role model for democracy. Currently, the Republican Party is the party that is in the spotlight, because it is carrying out the process of selecting a presidential candidate to represent the party against Joe Biden from the Democratic Party. Even though there are the names DeSantis and Nikki Haley, it doesn't seem difficult to predict that Trump will be chosen as the Republican presidential candidate. But before Trump is finally elected as America's president in 2024, of course the republic must prepare who will be vice president alongside Trump. If during Trump's first term as president he chose Mike Pence as his deputy, then in the 2024 election, Trump is predicted to choose a female vice president. Apart from political reasons, it cannot be denied that the Republican Party has a large cadre of women who are ready to become leaders, for example Trump's rival, Nikki Haley. But of course, it is not Nikki Haley who is said to be Donald Trump's vice president if elected, but the name mentioned is Elise Stefanik, a young politician from the Republican Party. Elise Stefanik, her name started to be discussed, because in December last year, during a dinner with members of Mar-a-Lago, Trump was asked who he would choose as his best man if elected president of America. When asked the name Elise Stefanik, Trump then nodded in agreement, and Trump then said that Stefanik was a killer, this is how people present there told the meeting. But of course, there is a main reason why Trump chose Stefanik, and that reason is loyalty which Stefanik has shown since the 2016 campaign until now Trump is running for president again. In Trump's first term as president, Trump may have been dissatisfied with his associates and ministers, whom Trump described as stiff, and because of this, Trump may renew all of them in his second term if elected. Trump is also not against his opponents, such as Vivek Ramaswamy, Trump said that he is very open to opportunities to work with Vivek in the future.